Well, Lena Turner hinted at this a month or so ago, and now it seems more and more likely that she will indeed be running for Congress again. Jordan Sheridan tweets out, Nina Turner has filed to run for Ohio's 11th congressional seat once again in 2022. Now, this isn't a confirmation, and the fact that she filed doesn't mean that it's official. Having said that, though, it seems increasingly likely that she will indeed choose to make this decision. And I, I think that her reasoning here is absolutely, um, it's valid, right? Because when you're running in a special election, all eyes are on you. There's basically unlimited resources and time that you can dedicate to that one race. But when you're running in a general election where everyone in the House of Representatives is up for re-election, then, you know, resources are spread more thinly. There's not so much eyes on this one race. So if she were to run again, I think she'd have a good shot. And she seems to believe that as well. So as Ryan Groom of The Intercept explains, Turner's filing allows her to keep her campaign apparatus running while making a final decision on a 2022 bid, said spokesperson Angelo Greco, adding that the filing does not guarantee she will make a bid. Last week, Turner appeared on The Intercept's podcast, Deconstructed, and hinted strongly at a rematch. Quote, I got all options on the table, Turner said. Asked if she thought a normal election would be easier to win for her than a special. Turner said that she did. Because, first of all, when you have 435 seats, as we are going to have in 2022, plus the Senate seats that are up, you can't concentrate all that firepower on only one seat, she said, a reference to the millions in outside money that rained down on her. And when you're making a strategic calculus as somebody that's looking at all Democratic seats, there are going to be some Democrats running and they are not running in a safe Democratic seat who are going to need that firepower to come save them. So absolutely, the turnout would have been different. We would have more college students who rock with people like me and the progressive movement that was missing. You would have more people who are going to come out and participate. Turner noted that Brown will only have been in office for a short time before the next race begins and the district lines will be redrawn as a result of redistricting. If the district becomes more working class, Turner has a better shot. But if it incorporates more of the wealthier suburbs that lean toward Brown, Turner will have a harder time. So it kind of depends on what the district looks like. It depends on a number of factors. But in terms of should she actually take another shot at this? Absolutely. Absolutely she should. It's it's difficult, right? You know, I don't want to say just keep running until you win because this really is a self-sacrifice. Like people who run for Congress, it is. it takes so much time and energy and resources and it, just the thought of it is fatiguing. So I don't want to encourage people to do something that I myself am not willing to do. But if she actually were to run again, I think that her chances would be better. Now, it's not a guarantee. It's not a foregone conclusion. I still would argue that this is going to be an uphill battle because Chantel Brown will have the incumbent advantage. But as Nina Turner said, it's a little bit easier if you don't have all eyes on this one race. So the entire establishment, you know, uh, they're not going to be paying attention to this one race. They're going to be looking at all of the races across the country. So, you know, she has a better shot, but it's still going to be tough. But for those of you who didn't support Nina Turner last time, if you sat out that race, now is an opportunity to right that wrong and get involved. I think that the reason why Nina Turner lost ultimately is because turnout was really low. And there was an article by Daniel Morans of HuffPost that kind of laid out some of the shortcomings of Nina Turner's campaign. I think that if her staff is introspective and if they look within and if they got rid of people like Jeff Weaver, who is not a political ally, but is more of a political opportunist, I think that this is going to drastically improve their chances, bring in more people who are veterans when it comes to organizing and marketing, for example, because one of the things that I think really hurt Nina Turner was the comments of, uh, you know, voting for Joe Biden is like eating half a bowl of shit. She was right about that, but they blasted that on every single billboard and radio wave that they possibly could in Ohio. And that ultimately, in a very heavily leaning Democratic district, is kind of difficult to overcome if people in this district are really loyal to the Democratic Party. So they have to find some way to get past that rather than focusing on her, shift the focus over to Chantel Brown and her corruption because she may be facing an ethics probe. So you can use that against her in this race if it is indeed a rematch, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, either way, I'm 100% on board. Uh, Nina Turner 2022, I'm, I'm absolutely um, enthusiastic about the prospect of her running. And if she runs again, um, I am going to do whatever I can to support her.